tourism versus ecotourism. Our learning intention is by the end of this video, I will be able to explain the difference between tourism and ecotourism and your success criteria. By the end of this video, I will have a definition written down for ecotourism in my own words. And I want you to tell me which famous person pops up when in the video, e.g., uh, let's say Taylor Swift, and she's popping up at 5 minutes 32. Alrighty. Okay, so ecotourism versus e sorry, versus tourism. Pause the video now and write down what you think the difference is between them. Our definition for tourism, if you remember, is people travelling to and staying in places outside of their usual environment for less than a year. You should have this one written down somewhere or on your OneNote, depending on where you're going to take your notes. Ecotourism. So on the next three slides, we're going to look at definitions for ecotourism, so don't write this one down just yet. Tourism directed towards exotic natural environments, intended to support conservation efforts and observe wildlife. Responsible travel to natural areas which conserves the environment and improves the welfare of local people. Tourism directed towards exotic natural environments intended to support conservation efforts and observe wildlife. That one's from the Oxford Dictionary. The practice of travelling to beautiful natural places for pleasure in a way that does not damage the environment there and responsible travel to natural areas that can serve the environment and improves the well-being of local people. Right, so of the five definitions that we have looked at, I want you to pause the video and rewrite one definition into your own words. You're going to create your own definition. You can take parts of each one, I don't mind, but you need to pause the video now and write down one definition in your own words. Here's some pictures of what ecotourism potentially looks like. This one down here is Tongariro. So that's a part of the crossing. I think some of you will have done that before. I'm not entirely sure where these ones are, um, but obviously really cool places that I would like to visit. Here's some examples of destroyed ecotourism destinations. So if we look at this one over here, clearly there. There's a whole lot of rubbish left on the beach, and we know what happens when rubbish gets left on beaches. It goes into the sea, and then it's going to damage the wildlife over there. So that is clearly not, not a great thing to be happening. And this is in Australia. It is the Gold Coast. So instead of really beautiful natural beaches and, and, and what we had before, we've got high-rise buildings, which, I mean, they're fantastic to visit. Um, but that has destroyed the natural environment there. So what tourism can do to nature? The picture on the left over here, this is before people started travelling to this destination. And then on the right is 10 years later. So part of the bush and trees and stuff, that's all been destroyed to make room for houses all the way through here. The harbour is filled up with boats and different things. I think there might be one boat in this picture here, but not as many. And if you look at the mountains have also changed. The range is over here. You can see the amount of sky that is different. Um, the expansion here of this water. So obviously the place is just being destroyed. Right, quick recap. So our three definitions of ecotourism, remember you were supposed to write down one of those in your own words. I think I like all three of these and I don't mind which, which one you use, but I think the, the main point here is that it is about a natural environment and it's about supporting the natural things that you find there. So whether that's the trees or the animals or the people, you leave it as it was. You don't change anything about it. Um, you definitely don't damage it or litter or throw any rubbish there, uh, but you try and conserve it as much as you possibly can. Right, so success criteria, that definition written down, and tell me where you saw our famous friend.